Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Untitled Reviews. This time around we're taking a look at Corsair's Dark Core RGB Pro SE wireless gaming mouse. Now, numerous gadgets have been going pro recently, but it's rather questionable as to whether most deserve the moniker. And certainly out the box, Corsair's new Dark Core RGB Pro SE is an exception to this rule, which boasts high-end features that will please even the most professional of gamers. At $99.99, it stands up well against the likes of HP's Omen Photon and Rockat's Kane 200 AMO that we've previously covered on the channel, with some standout features like an 18,000 DPI sensor, 50 hour battery life and QI charging capabilities. On the front of the box we find Corsair logo, notification of the Dark Core RGB Pro SE model number and large picture of the mouse. And on the back of the box we find a little bit more detail about the product in various languages, noting that this mouse can be connected with its slipstream wireless technology, Bluetooth or the USB wired connection, its 18,000 DPI optical sensor that's optimised for wireless mice, its incredibly fast and responsive hyperpolling rate of up to 2000 Hz, easy to use reversible USB-C connector and its QI wireless charging compatibility. And inside the box we find the mouse itself complete with instruction manuals and safety information, additional side pod and USB-C uh, to A cable and receiver. In terms of design, it's clear that Corsair have created something sturdy yet lightweight, but it's really not your typical gaming mouse in terms of feel and overall features. And that in recent times, there's been a move away from the typical hard plastics offered by other manufacturers uh, and loved by the likes of Razer. Instead, Corsair have chosen to use them but they've also used a, a lovely feeling textured rubber on the main body of the mouse as well. It certainly gives the Dark Core RGB Pro SE the edge over competitors when it comes to comfort. It's a rather sturdy unit, yet also feels quite lightweight at the same time. Uh, although one thing that is probably worth noting is that the Dark Core RGB Pro SE doesn't come with any additional weights, which might be a problem for some who've been used to Logitech G502 Lightspeed with a Hero sensor, uh, which does come with additional weights, uh, as well as the fact it isn't ambidextrous. But it could be said that Corsair does make up for this with a choice of two side pods for the right-hand side, with this one offering a slightly wider feel as compared to the more narrow and flat one that we've got currently sat on it at the moment. But it's got an absolutely brilliant contoured shape, uh, which does help to make it a rather comfortable mouse indeed. Uh, there's eight programmable buttons offered here with well thought out placement with your, your two typical mouse buttons, a really nice comfortable rubberized scroll wheel, two easy reach buttons to change the DPI next to the left mouse button and two buttons on the left hand side as well. Uh, and so it's abundantly clear from all this that the Dark Core RGB Pro SE has been a really well thought out mouse when it comes to design and certainly looks the part and feels it too. In terms of gaming performance then, with the Dark Core RGB Pro SE, it's clear that high intensity battles won't be an issue. In testing this, it was intriguing to see if Corsair's choice of the 18,000 DPI Pixar PAW3392 sensor paid off against rival models. And it absolutely works a charm in fast paced combat, making, making this mouse an absolute go to for FPS gaming. And for a wireless mouse, it's insanely responsive. Whereas in the past there was a lot of latency with wireless mice, Corsair's sub one millisecond slipstream connection makes for pretty much latency free wireless gaming. Uh, and in, in those high intensity battles, it's certainly fair to say that the Dark Core RGB Pro SE worked brilliantly as you jump round corners to kill enemies or fight from distance with a sniper rifle. It's clear that this mouse can do it all. Now the battery life and in terms of overall performance is also something that's worth considering. Uh, and with a 50 hour battery life, it offers plenty of play time. And the RGB Pro SE uh, offers dual connectivity through Bluetooth or the aforementioned slipstream enabled USB wireless dongle that comes within the box, as well as through the USB Type-C cable for charging purposes. It means that Corsair's newest wireless mouse can be used with multiple devices, and switching between these two devices through a little switch on the bottom uh, there is practical, simple and absolutely seamless. With this SE model specifically, there's also the option of QI wireless charging which comes an extra cost of about £10 or so compared to the normal model uh, and with Corsair's offerings in terms of mouse pads such as their MM1000 uh, a reasonable £40 or so the Dark Core uh, RGB Pro SE stands up brilliantly against rivals such as HP Omens Photon where their additional uh, wireless charging mouse pad cost as much as the mouse at around £140. So I suppose if you're looking for a mouse with wireless charging a seamless wireless connection dual connectivity 
and an absolutely fantastic 18,000 DPR sensor. You can't really go wrong with when this. When it comes one. to software and lighting, this part is certainly where the Dark Core RGB Pro SE excels. Right out the box, its lighting is sharp and crisp and certainly gives Razer's Chroma lighting on the likes of the Basilisk Ultimate a run for its money. Corsair's IQ software isn't as exhaustive as the likes of Razer's Synapse 3, but it's still a great piece of software nonetheless. And it practically offers unlimited levels of customization, especially when it comes to this Actions tab and programming the mouse buttons present on the Dark Core RGB Pro SE. As well as programming macros, macros intuitively, there's the options to input text, media playback, launch applications, set timers, switch between profiles, or remap pretty much any key on your keyboard, including language keys and individual keystrokes and function keys as well. The lighting effects in here are pretty damn exhaustive too, when with a large range of predefined kind of presets with rainbow, color pulse, shift, visor, rain, and rainbow wave, custom ones that you can change, such as one static color, color waves, ripples, all those sorts of things. And there's also the ability to link to other Corsair peripherals that you might have, even right down to the temperature of your PC on a CPU cooler or something similar like that. Uh, in terms of DPI switching, there's the option to, to switch all the all four levels um, that this offers, uh, and also changing the associated RGB color so you know what DPI level you're at judging by RGB color. There's the option in performance here to enhance the precision of your mouse pointer and angle snap it too, as well as calibrating it between any surface, which you do have to do with a wide connection, but that just gives you the most precise tracking possible. And it's certainly clear from this that whilst IQ isn't as exhaustive as the likes of Synapse 3, there's some absolutely brilliant features included here. Um, and it's going to do everything you need it to do at a fraction of the price of the Basilisk Ultimate, for instance. So, in conclusion then, should you buy the Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro SE? Well, it's actually a really easy sell, as Corsair's newest wireless mouse designed for even the most professional gamers really does have it all. From an excellent sensor to insanely precise tracking, the Dark Core RGB Pro SE is an excellent mouse for the money. Also, with industry standard Omron switches, you're getting a device that's super responsive, reliable, and absolutely tactile. It also comes with some fantastic software in Corsair's IQ, making this mouse the absolute complete package. It wins against its nearest rival, HP Zomans Photon, in terms of sensitivity, with a whole 2,000 more compared to the HP 6000. And whilst the Photon does come with QI wireless charging as well, Corsair's newest entry beats it in terms of offering more affordable mouse pads and in overall price as well, undercutting the Photon by around £45-50 pounds these days. In terms of software, IQ's up, with, up there with the likes of Razer Synapse 3, offering an accessible and intuitive experience with infinite programming ability. Sure, it may fall down on lighting zones compared to the likes of Razer's Basilisk Ultimate, but for a mouse that's half the price of Razer's flagship at £99.99, it's undoubtedly a valiant effort. Now, some may see the fact it's let down by its exclusivity for right-handers and the lack of additional weights, but overall, the Dark Core RGB Pro SE doesn't disappoint in any areas, and it certainly comes highly recommended from us over here. Now, as always, if you like what you see, we'll leave our Amazon links down, in, down below in the description. And all that remains for us to say is like, share, subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed the video.